Today I'm taking a look at the Sigma 16mm f1.4 DC DN contemporary lens for the Canon EFM system. There are other mounts available for this lens, specifically Sony, Fujifilm, L mount, and Micro Four Thirds. With the Canon EFM version, you need the UD11 USB dock to change the focus ring settings and update firmware. The EFM version does not have a weather gasket on the back mount. Physical properties of the lens, it is pretty large, especially compared to the other Canon EFM lenses. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the 16mm Sigma, the 15-45mm to kit lens from Canon, and the 11-22mm. to Definitely a big difference in size. Keep in mind that the two Canon lenses do extend a bit larger. The lens does come with a hood. This helps you avoid flare in some situations. The Canon lenses do not come with one. The focus ring has no stopping points in either direction. It's very smooth to rotate. It's an electronic connection from the lens to the camera. Here's an example of about how close you can get with focus. A large difference between the three lenses is aperture. The maximum aperture is f1.4 on the Sigma lens, which is significantly larger. That's a big benefit of this lens and one of the main reasons to consider it. Obviously, the trade-off with the Sigma lens is that it is significantly larger than the two Canon lenses. I did take this lens out for a nice photo walk at a Japanese garden in my area. Works really well in that situation. Have a lot of options with a wide-angle lens. You can get pretty close to subjects. I did try to take photos at different apertures so that I could get a general idea in a real-world situation how this lens holds up. You can decide for yourself if the outdoor photos handheld at different apertures change things up or not. I did try to compare the three lenses indoors in a controlled environment. It is still pretty challenging to get a decent result, but I think I was able to get an idea of how they compare. You can see in the background with the point source lights much, much smoother at f1.4 compared to something like f5. When you compare the maximum aperture at around that 16mm focal length, the Sigma at f1.4, obviously that's very different than the other two, was slightly lower image quality, but you get a big benefit from that larger aperture. At f8, the Sigma and the 11 to 22 mm look very similar. I think the kit lens is slightly worse compared to those two at f8. With the Sigma lens, vignetting is certainly something that's going to happen at the large apertures. You can tell darkening of the corners. As you go into small apertures, you will see improvement to that. There is some slight fringing, I can tell, at f1.4. It does clear up around f8.6. Diffraction does come in around f11, as far as I can tell. Notice that it isn't quite as consistent with autofocus as the official Canon lenses. It's not a huge difference. For example, I was having some issues focusing close to some subjects. I have used this lens a lot in a webcam situation. Most of the time it's with the Canon EOS M50 through USB. If I use F2 on the Sigma, it seems to work pretty consistently with doing webcam streaming. And it's a nice focal length, at least for my setup. Build quality seems very nice on the lens, consistent with the other Sigma lenses for EFM. I think it's a mix of metal, plastic, and rubber. What are some of the clear benefits of this lens? It's a large maximum aperture. The f1.4 has a lot of versatility with it. Low light situations, if you want to focus closer and get some blur in the background, you can do that with this lens. The firmware is upgradable with the dock, and you can also adjust the focus ring from linear or a different type. I especially like using it in a webcam situation, but it's great, of course, for photography, videography. This lens does not have stabilization, so you will need to use the digital stabilization in the Canon cameras that currently exist, and that will limit your field of view. So I don't think this is a great lens for vlogging, but you could potentially do it. I really like the lens, glad that I picked it up. Very nice optical quality in general. And then again, you get that nice large maximum aperture. No complaints. That was a look at the Sigma EFM 16mm f1.4 DCDN contemporary lens. Scott Photography Bonsai, thanks.